Hey guys, welcome back. Today's class is going to be designed almost entirely focusing on standing postures. It's going to be a pretty strong flow. We're going to work on opening and closing and twisting our hips all while standing at the same time and floating a leg. So. Uh, have a block nearby just in case you need a block. If you have a really hard time with balancing on one foot, I recommend maybe practicing today next to a wall just so you can have the wall as your friend. Um, other than that, today's goal is to try not to judge yourself because I know how hard it can be to stand on one leg for three postures and then be like completely defeated that it just wasn't working out for you today. Know that uh, it's just a journey and you will progress and hopefully by the end of the 30 days you can do the whole thing. We're gonna get started today in Virasana Hero's Pose. So if your knees already talk to you in this posture and you're like, oh man, this is, it just hurts your knees, uh, Adrian here is demoing the block set. So you'll take a block and you'll just place it right in between your, your ankles and you can sit, see how that elevates you. You can more than welcome to hang out right here if your knees hurt you. Otherwise, just find very traditional Virasana Hero's Pose. Have your palms down and then close your eyes for a moment. Notice where your breath is at. Notice if it's, if it's slow or if it's deep again. Then start to bring awareness to your mind. Standing balances require a lot of concentration. So see if you can bring all of your thoughts onto your mat if they're not there already. Start to deepen the breath. Take a nice, deep, long breath in through the nose. And then exhale out through the nose. About two more just like that. Really enjoy those breaths. Inhale. And then exhale out. Take one more full breath. Keep your eyes closed. Inhale. And then exhale out. Go ahead and blink your eyes open. Plant your hands to the top of the mat. Go ahead and curl your toes and find downward facing dog. Pedal out the legs left and right, right and left. Start to bring awareness to the hands and just become a super aware of the earth. Become aware of the earth beneath your feet as well. You'll use those points to ground you today. Take a deep breath in, draw the belly into the spine, let the hips feel really soft here as you continue to lift and breathe. Two more breaths, inhale. Try to find stillness now in these last two breaths. Last breath in, inhale. And then exhale out. Slowly start to walk yourself all the way to the top of the mat and hang in a forward fold. Just a very traditional forward fold. Separate your feet. Either the back of the hands can land right on the, on the mat and then bend your knees and let the head just kind of go and let it feel really heavy. Let yourself feel really grounded. Your face is relaxed to the point where your cheeks are invading your eye sockets. Draw the belly in. Breathe. Take one more full breath in. And then exhale out. Start to awaken the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold. Heel to the feet back together to the center line. And then inhale, lift yourself all the way up to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Reach your hands all the way up to the sky. And then exhale the hands to heart center. Close your eyes here for a moment. Feel the earth again underneath you. Ground yourself. You might notice a gentle swaying in the body, and that's totally normal. Go ahead and, and fine-tune that. Notice it. Take another deep breath in. 
And then exhale out. Sura Namaskar 8. Very traditional. Inhale, lift your hands all the way up. And then exhale, fold all the way down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And then exhale, plant your hands, step back, jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And then exhale, roll over the toes, find downward facing dog, two breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale in. And exhale out. Inhale, the heels high. Exhale, look to the front, step, jump, or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up, mountain pose, rise all the way up to the top. Press your fingers up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Repeat, inhale, lift. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, plant your hands, step back, jump back. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale out. Try to draw energy from the mat and the ground where you're making contact. Then inhale in through the nose. And then exhale out. If a handstand's in your practice, you can jump forward through a handstand. Inhale, the heels high. Exhale, step, jump, float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up, mountain pose, rise all the way up, reach. And then exhale, hands to heart center. We'll do that one more time. If you like crow, you can totally take crow on your transition back. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, hands to the mat. You can step back, you can crow. Then from here, shoot yourself all the way back. Inhale, up dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. One full breath in, inhale. And then exhale out. Inhale, the heels high. Exhale, step, jump, float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up, mountain pose, rise all the way up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Let's keep moving. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Same exhale brings your right knee into your chest and hold here. Push the mat away from you. Draw the belly into the spine. Take a nice deep breath in. Push the mat even more away from you. And then very slowly, plant your right foot forward. Crescent lunge. Inhale, lifts you all the way up. Reach your hands all the way up to the sky. Find a nice long extension. Reach the crown of the head and the hands into the vast space above you. Take a few deep breaths here. And then exhale out. Taking Rikshasana tree pose next. Slowly bring your hands to heart center. Lean forward. Shift all of your weight into your right leg. And then straighten out, drive. And then try to keep your foot below the knee to begin with. And just notice where you are at your first balance. You might notice your ankle really working here. Just trying to stabilize all the movement happening above. Take one more full breath in. Inhale. Hold on the exhale. Inhale. Lift your left knee all the way up to the sky for Tadasana Mountain Pose. One leg. Reach your hands up to the sky. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold on the exhale. Take one more full breath in. And then exhale. Kick your left foot out. Kick it out. Draw the belly in. Try not to lean back. Take one full breath. And then exhale, hinge from the waist, straight leg, and then bring your hands towards the back of the room, and then find Virabhadrasana three. Hold. Take a nice deep breath in. Lengthen, lift, square the, the hips and square the shoulders up. Take one more full breath in. And then exhale, forward fold to standing splits. Lift the leg all the way up. Now here, you can try standing splits without hands if you like. You can grab and wrap around an ankle, or as always, if you're interested in going into an inversion, more than welcome to extend yourself all the way up into a handstand. 
Then from here, bring yourself all the way right back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, hands to the mat, chaturanga. Step it back, jump back. You can always crow back if you, that's in the practice. You can always skip chaturangas and go right to down dog two as well. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, bring your left knee into your chest, rock your weight all the way forward. Hold here. Notice if you're collapsing in the shoulders and really push away. Draw your knee into your chest, lean forward. Flex your left foot, place it forward, crescent lunge. Inhale, lift your hands and the head up into the vast space above you. Take a nice deep breath in, inhale. And then exhale, sit a little bit lower. Draw your hands to heart center. Vrikshasana tree pose. Inhale, lean forward. Hold on the exhale. And then on your inhale, drive your left leg into the ground and bring your right foot. Just to about the calf. It's all right if you struggle. Maybe you need to adjust and then hold for a moment. Breathe. Draw the belly in. Find one spot that isn't moving and holds. Take one more full breath in. Hold on the exhale. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana Mountain Pose. Reach your hands all the way up to the sky. Breathe. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, kick your right foot away. Flare out your toes. Be nice and engaged. Squeeze. Take one more full breath in. You got it? And then slowly swing the leg all the way back. Airplane your hands. Find Virabhadrasana 3. Lift the chest. Think about this as Shalabhasana on one leg. Lift a little bit higher. Go ahead and find that spot in front of the room that isn't moving. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, standing splits. Bring yourself all the way down. Standing splits, you can create a wrap around your ankle. Maybe create a wrap around with both hands. Or again, plant your hands. Maybe you take a few little bounces. And it's okay to just little bounces, little hops. Even if you just come up a little bit, it's still a handstand. We all start somewhere. Then from here, forward fold to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Plant your hands to the mat, chaturanga, step it back, or go straight to downward facing dog. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg lifts up to the sky. Exhale, step your foot forward, crescent lunge. Now, inhale, lift your hands up. Rise. Breathe. If you want to make this round harder and you really want to get excited and your block is safe and firm, take your right foot and place it on a block. Now again, this is if you feel really, really stable and the last one was like solid. You're going to lean forward and then step all the way up to Vrikshasana tree pose. Stay calm. Notice the difference it makes just by elevating yourself four inches. All of a sudden, things may get a little bit scarier, but know that if you fall, you're just four inches off the ground. It's totally going to be okay. But make sure that the block is stable and really firm. Those cork blocks work really well for this. One-legged Tadasana mountain pose. Bring your left knee into your chest. Rise. Now this time, we're going to bring our hands down for a moment and try to bring your forehead to your knee without making any contact. There you go. Stay strong. Make connection. Now inhale lifts you right back up. Reach your hands up to the sky. Shoot your left leg all the way towards the front. This time, we're going to go around the outside with our left leg as it rounds all the way to the back. Then reach your hands all the way back. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, forward fold. If the hamstrings are totally okay for this, you can bring them all the way down to the mat. From here, you can just hold. Or again, you can pop up into a handstand if it feels right to you. Maybe try to float it right above it. Maybe bring it right back down. If you're on a block, step it forward, forward fold, release the block, place it onto the other side, and everyone come to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Step it back, jump it back, crow back, or skip the whole darn thing. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take two deep breaths. Exhale. One more inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale, the left leg lifts all the way up. Exhale, crunch it forward, step it forward, crescent lunge. Now again, if you're stepping on, go ahead and adjust. Feel stable. Then inhale, rise up to crescent. Now just notice the earth, the block if it's there. Bring your hands to heart center. Lean forward. Then step like you're stepping onto a step and find tree pose. Breathe. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Take one more full breath in. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your hands all the way up. One-legged Tadasana mountain pose. Hold here. Look, it's okay to struggle. Everything, we all do it. Hold. Then drop your hands all the way down and then fold. Try to tap your forehead to your knee, but keep your left leg super straight. Then slowly inhale brings you all the way right back up. Exhale, kick your right foot all the way away. Three, two, round the outside, all the way open. Reach it all the way back. Reach your hands behind you. Square your shoulders, square your hips. Lengthen and lift, fire up your right thigh bone. And then exhale, fold all the way down to the earth. Again, here, just play around with handstands, standing splits. The block should help you if you're working on a press up. You should be able to just float. Don't forget to breathe. Go all the way up. And then when you're ready, exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, let your step back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale out. Inhale, your heels high. Exhale, step, jump, float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Chair pose, hips down, hands up, rise, Utkatasana. We're gonna go through Suranamaskar B-ish. So I, I say ish because you, you'll catch on in a moment. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Step back, jump back. Lower all the way down. Inhale, up dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. On this same exhale, bring your right foot forward. Spin your right left foot out. And then inhale, up to warrior one. And then exhale, open up warrior two. Here's where it changes. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Strain out your right leg. And then exhale, find trikonasana, triangle pose. Bring your right hand down. Look up to the sky. Now, in this next sequence, experienced yogis, and I use experienced yogis very loosely here. Try to keep your eyes to the sky. Try not to use the ground. But if you need a block, please do so. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Bend your left, right knee. Walk your right fingertips forward. Rock on top of your right heel and then straighten out. Try to keep your eyes onto the sky. Breathe. Try not to claw the mat with your toes, but instead press through the ball of your big toe, your right toe. Hold. Now, become curious about your practice here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna close our hips, bring our hands to heart center, and then slowly lift and find a variation of Virabhadrasana three. Stay nice and strong. Work, fire up the left side of the body. Then what we're gonna do next is drop your left hand down. Reach your right hand up to the sky. Keep your hips nice and squared, and then reach up. Revolved half moon. Take a nice deep breath in. Lift your left hip a little bit higher. Keep looking up to the sky. Breathe. Very slowly start to bring your left leg behind you in the direction of revolved triangle pose. So readjust your hands and adjust your feet and take your left hand to the outside of your right foot. Bring your right hand to the small of the back so you can keep it nice and squared and neutral. Then reach your right hand up to the sky. Breathe. Take a nice deep breath in. Try to lengthen the spine. Take one more full breath in. 
Now, revolved half moon. Bend your left knee, excuse me, right knee. Walk your left hand forward, look up to the sky, and fire up your left leg and lift. Flare out those left toes, lift. Three, two, one. Slowly bring your right hand down to the mat. Readjust, square your hips, square your shoulders. Plant your right hand to the mat, and then slowly inhale, lift and stack your left hand up to the sky. Then slowly bring your left leg down. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, windmill your hands down to the mat. Step it back, straight downward facing dog. Notice how your hip feels uneven. One more full breath in. And then exhale, step your left foot forward to the top of the mat. Spin your right foot out, Virabhadrasana one. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior, straighten out your left leg. And then exhale, triangle pose, reach. It's a deep external rotation of your left thigh as you press through your left big toe. Look up to the sky. Draw the belly in. If you're super back bendy, try and avoid going into a back bend here. Take one more full breath in. Now again, if you like to challenge yourself, look up to the sky, find a spot. And then if you're really, really, really good, you can close your eyes, try it. Go ahead and bend your left knee. Walk your left fingertips forward. Slowly start to find Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Avoid clawing the mat. Stay strong. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And then exhale, square your shoulders, square your hips. Draw the belly in, stay nice and strong. Firm up your left, your right hand, and then lift your left hand up to the sky. Find revolved triangle, a revolved half moon. Again, check your hips, check your alignment. Then look up to the sky. Stay fired up on the right leg. Keep extending towards the back. One more breath. Inhale. And then exhale. Step your right foot back in the direction of revolved triangle. Heel to heel. Back foot spun out. And then your right hand comes down. Left hand to the small of the back. Adjust. Keep your hips squared. And then lift your left hand up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale out. One more full breath in, inhale. And hold on the exhale. Walk your right fingertips towards the front of the room. Bend your left leg. And then inhale, extend and fire up your right thigh bone and lift. Square your hips off. Look up to the sky. You got it, stay strong. Take one more full breath in. Hold on the exhale. And then slowly bring your right, left hand down to the mat. Stay strong, engage your core. Hover or root your left hand. Slowly stack your hip, feel them open, a deep external rotation, and then start to lift your right hand up. Breathe. You can look to the ground, you can look to the side wall, or you can look all the way up to the sky. Trikonasana triangle pose, slowly bend. Bring yourself all the way back. Then inhale, reverse your warrior. Bend your left knee, take a big breath. And exhale, windmill your hands all the way down to the mat. Step it back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale out. Inhale, the heels high. Exhale, step, jump, float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, Fold. Inhale, press up mountain pose, rise all the way up to the top. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Then down to the side. Take a deep breath in. Shift your weight into your right leg and then lift and hinge. And just a little, just hinging. Make this fun, make it exciting. Then when you're ready, you can take and swing your left leg all the way out. Pigeon toe the feet. You'll inhale, lift your hands all the way up wide seam or above and then exhale round, fold fold hinge from your waist bring yourself all the way down this should feel really good by this point in time draw the belly in
take another deep breath in. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, plant your hands to the earth. Bring your hands to your waist. Slight bend in the knees and inhale brings you all the way up. Turn your right toes back to the top and then step it forward. Shift your weight into your right leg. Utita hasta parangustasana. Extended hand to big toe pose. A couple of ways you can get into it. Option one will be to just bring it in, bring your toe in, and then extend and hold. Or you can swing it and kick it up and then hold. If those aren't options for you, a strap totally works here. Or you can just bend your knee and hold here if that's in your practice where it's at. Here you go. Bring. Grab your big toe, left big toe, and then slowly extend. Keep your hand on your hip here. Now, if you would like, you're more than welcome to forward fold and try to bring the, 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 the forehead all the way down uh, up to the, the knee and the shin. Stay strong. Take a nice deep breath in. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Hold on the exhale. Inhale brings you right back up. Externally rotate your leg and then open up. Now here, try to avoid the, the, what I like to say, peeing on a fire hydrant, okay? Avoid, avoid this, what I'm doing. Right? It feels good sometimes, but go ahead and keep the hips square and then open and lift. Go ahead and extend your right hand out and look to the right side if you'd like to challenge yourself. Take a nice deep breath in. Now, if you want to make this harder, follow along. Otherwise, keep your hand attached to your foot. Release your foot, float it to the center, and then shift and grab your right, your left heel, and then extend to the back. Reach. Revolved. Take a nice deep breath in. If you can, look behind to your open palm. Then slowly bring your awareness back to your front leg. Release, and then shoot your hands all the way up. Take a deep breath in. Reach, 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 reach. Then swing the leg down. Keep your right hand lifted. Bring your left hand down like a serving tray. And we're going to go into dancer here. You're going to grab. Keep your knees together. Your thumb is pointing up to your big toe. Then from here, you're going to start to kick them, lift them and rise. If you're uh, more experienced, you're always more than welcome to take the full variation of King Dancer as you lift and extend. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold one more full breath. Inhale. And then nice and slowly release. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky. And then exhale, side out, forward fold, all the way down to the mat. This side and that forward fold probably feels extremely yummy. Pedal out the legs, left and right. Have a slight bend in the knee. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, press up mountain pose, rise all the way up to the top. Big extension. And exhale, hands to heart center, float them down to the hands. Shift your weight, left leg, little hinging action, right side. You got it, there you go. There you go. Get fun, get creative, you know, just, just dance around if you want to. <laughs> then from here, when you're ready, swing that right leg. Pigeon toe the feet, inhale your hands all the way up. And then exhale, swan dive, hinge at the waist, bring yourself all the way down. Nice forward fold here. Two breaths, inhale and exhale. Now, if you like, try to walk your hands all the way through your mat so that one day your knees and your ears are in line, stay active, really work. Try to see if you can look up to the sky. Really nice place to check out your mula bandha. See if it's engaged, see if it's still there not out around, floating around in the room somewhere. Then slowly bring yourself all the way right back up, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your waist, lift yourself all the way right back up. Then pivot your left toes, step it forward. Now, here's the final push. We got one more side, and then we got our cool down postures. Utita hasta, parangustasana. Take your right big toe. Find balance first. If that means you hang out here for the next minute or so, then let that be the place to hang out. If you're ready, extend, kick, 
<laughs> find that balance. Like I said, it takes a time. It takes some time. Find it. Breathe. Then if you went into the other side, forehead to knee. Stay connected. Really fire up your left thigh bone. There you go. Breathe. There you go. Take one more full breath in. Hold on the exhale. Inhale lifts you all the way right back up. And then exhale, open your right leg. Stay connected here. Breathe. Keep that hip down. Take one more full breath in. If you like to challenge, extend your left hand out and then start to look. Notice when you change the gaze, things might get a little bit harder. You can totally keep your hand connected to your foot here as we go into revolved or release it, find, play around with balance, and then reach around, grab, and then extend. Stay strong, concentrate, find your drishki, that one spot that isn't moving, wherever that may be, breathe. One more full breath. Strain out your left leg. There you go. You're strong. Then slowly bring yourself back to center. Lift your hands up. Keep the foot there. Let it shake. Shaking, building muscles. It's good. It's good. Then bring your right foot down. Then bring your right hand down. Set up for dancer. Grab the inside of your foot. Thumb points to your big toe. Then from here, start to kick up. Kick first, and once you're done kicking, then you slowly start to let the torso come down. Extend your foot all the way up to the sky. Stay active in your hand, stay active in your foot. Keep reaching your hand a little bit further. Kick a little bit higher. Three, two, one. Slowly bring yourself all the way right back up. Release, roll the shoulders out. Inhale your hands all the way up. Breathe. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, slowly bring your glutes all the way down to the mat. Extend your feet towards the front of the room. Shake out your legs, shake it out. Oh. Yeah, you can probably feel those legs. You'll probably feel those legs for the next two days, friends. And it's gonna be okay. You're like, what happened two days ago? Oh yeah, Elvis happened two days ago. Good work, you guys. Take your right leg, cross it up and over. We're gonna twist, turn into your right knee. Look behind you, take a nice full deep breath. Slowly release, bring yourself back to front. Take your right knee and stack it right on top of your left knee. Keep your left leg straight here. We're going to hinge at the waist here. So this is a variation of Gomukhasana. Inhale, lift. And then slowly fold. First, try to get your chin up and over. Then once you get your chin there, the next section is try to get your forehead to your knee. Relax your jaw, relax your hips. Really enjoy these moments here of stillness. So often in modern day yoga, we're always searching and trying to run to the next sensation when we really should just be holding simple postures and let the sensations come. I promise they will come. Slowly bring yourself right back up, lift, extend your right leg all the way to the front. Bring your left knee into your chest. Take a nice deep breath in and then cross it over. Give yourself a nice hug. Look behind you. Try to fully erect the spine as you start to look behind you. Then bring yourself right back to front. Take your left knee. Stack the knees right on top of each other. Erect the spine, get up nice and tall, then hinge from the waist as you lean forward. First, try to get your chin past your toes. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale round, forehead to knee. Try to look at your navel. Now, if you have 
tight IT bands like myself, this posture can get a, a, a little bit extreme. It might be a little hard to find some relaxation, but try your hardest to find it. Inhale slowly brings you all the way right back up. Release, bring both knees into your chest, slide your glutes, and then very nice and slowly bring yourself all the way down to the ground. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. We're going to take just a series of twists and then our final corpse pose. Plant your feet to the mat. Shimmy your hips over to the left side and then drop your knees over to the right. Take your eyes to the left side. Cactus your hands. Breathe, enjoy. Bring your knees right back into your chest. Plant the soles of the feet, then align your hips again. Lift the hips and bring them over to the right side. And then drop your knees over to the left. Look to the right. Now, one of the main reasons, really the, the only reason I shimmy the hips over before we let the knees drop is so that our spine stays in alignment. If you were to look at yourself from up above, you want the whole spine to be in alignment. And shimming the hips to the side allows your, your, your spine to fall itself into alignment. Slowly bring your knees right back to center. Align your spine. Give yourself one more big squeeze, and then exhale, corpse pose. Relax. If you need a little shaking back and forth, massage your whole body into the ground. Palms up, find stillness. Let all of the weight of your legs just completely melt into the ground. You're more than welcome to stay here as long as you would like. Bring movements and sensations back into your body. Wiggle the toes, the nose, the fingers. Start to bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze, a big hug. Reach for opposite elbows. And then take my favorite pose, Kadalasana. Rock over to the right side. Just come nice into a small little ball. Honor your body. Kick your left leg, push your hands into the mat, and come up to your seated position. It's been an honor to have you here and practicing with us. I hope you enjoyed your standing balancing series and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bring your thumbs to your third eye center. Take a deep breath in. Namaste.